मशीन लर्निंग इज अबाउट गेटिंग आंसर ऑफ आवर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम डेटा वट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन लाइक वट शुड बी द नेक्स्ट मूवी आई सेल वॉच ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स और क्वेश्चन लाइक वट शुड बी द ऑप्टिमल प्राइज फॉर माई नेक्स्ट ओबे ट्रिप मशीन इज एबल टू आंसर दीज क्वेश्चन टू अस यूजिंग मशीन लर्निंग बट हाउ दैट इज वॉट वी विल फोकस ऑन दिस वीडियो वेलकम टू अनफोल्ड डेटा साइंस दिस इज अमन हियर एंड आई एम ए डेटा साइंटिस्ट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू द इनर मैकेनिज्म ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग बाय एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल हैव ए वेरी क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ हाउ मशीन लर्निंग वर्क लेट स्टार्ट नाउ टॉकिंग ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग गाइज देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड मॉडल इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग this guy model is what is responsible for the answers this guy model is able to answer our queries so we ask to model which movie shall i watch on netflix next and that recommendation is shown to us on netflix okay but this guy model needs to be trained before we can use it okay so for training this model we need two things number 1 we need data that will be used for training this model and number 2 we need a machine learning algorithm okay so what is this data and what is this machine learning algorithm let's try understanding with some example so if you are my data scientist friend and i ask you hey which movie shall i watch on netflix next you will ask me what is the movie you watched next you watched last or what kind of movie you like or what kind of movie you don't like some of my taste some of my choices you will try to capture that is the data part of it okay and the machine learning algorithm is basically set of instructions typically bundled in a package that we as a data scientist use 90% of the times and using this data and machine learning algorithm until or unless we are building something from the scratch where we need to write our own algorithm we use pre built algorithms with data and data plus machine learning algorithm generates this model once this model is generated this is used to answer our questions so this model is the entity which has learned the pattern from the data and hence it's able to answer our queries i repeat it guys just remember it the model is an entity which has learned pattern in the data okay what kind of pattern will depend on what machine learning algorithm we are using let's see what are different machine learning algorithms and why it is important to use the right algorithm with right use case let's see that with example okay now machine learning algorithms are there are so many machine learning algorithms okay so machine learning algorithms can be written as ml1 machine learning algorithm 1 machine learning algorithm 2 machine learning algorithm 3 and let's say machine learning algorithm n okay so in the world of data science and machine learning there are lot of algorithms out there but all these algorithms are different from each other one algorithm is supposed to do some specific task one or more specific task this algorithm will do some other task this algorithm will do some other task there there might be intersection as well but basically all these algorithms are little different from each other okay so some of these algorithms work well with text data some of these algorithms work well with you know video data and image data some work well with time series data and these kind of things so this is about machine learning algorithms i'm not naming any algorithm as of now so these are different different algorithms available out there which we can use in our work okay now let's try understanding this with some use cases so i'm just writing here two problem statements okay problem statement 1 and problem statement 2 let's say problem statement 1 is estimating the relation between estimate relation between income and expense okay estimate relation between income and expense and problem number 2 in hand is you know uh, just create just create bucket of 
customers similar behaving customers create bucket of similar behaving customers now let's say these two problem statements are there we will try to understand how different machine learning algorithms work so problem statement one is let's say this is me and this is three of my friends okay so the problem statement in hand is uh, find a pattern in income and expense of me and my friends okay and problem statement number two is how should we bucket the customer from a superstore okay how should we bucket the similar customers in different groups in a superstore now for this kind of problem statement we need data of income and expense income and expense okay and then we want to understand how expense is related to income this is done for the purpose so that tomorrow if income is known then expense can be predicted so here we have one column called expense which needs to be predicted this is very important guys in this data we have one column called expense which needs to be predicted the purpose of this problem statement is estimate the relation between expense and income and tomorrow if income is given then expense should be calculated by using this model or this algorithm so here expense needs to be estimated by that machine learning algorithm whereas in case 2 there is nothing to predict okay so here what we have to do is we have to group the similar behaving customers so how do you group similar behaving customers you just take their purchase frequency you take their dollar volume in a month you take their purchase frequency you take how many times they you know uh, miss the payment how many times they complain things like that and then maybe we can group the similar behaving customers but in this case we have certain thing which is there to be estimated but in this case there is nothing to be estimated rather we just want to figure out a pattern hidden in the data we just want to figure out categories or groups or buckets hidden in the data so this is called supervised machine learning algorithm this process where you have something to predict or estimate where you have a column that is labeled this is called a labeled column because this is something we are interested in predicting this is called a labeled column for this use case and this type of problems where we have a labeled column in the data is called supervised machine learning algorithm on the other hand there might be cases for example like this where in a super store you have to bucket the similar customers in this type of case we do not have anything to predict or estimate and in the data we do not have a labeled column remember guys labeled column means something which we want to predict or estimate here we are not interested in predicting or estimating anything so this is an example of unsupervised machine learning algorithm so machine learning algorithms are typically broadly divided into two buckets there are others also which i will discuss in my upcoming videos but those are like not very much into uh, discussion or not not the broader categories the broader categories are supervised machine learning algorithm and unsupervised machine learning algorithm the difference is supervised machine learning algorithm we predict or estimate something and hence we have the labeled data this column is called label column and in unsupervised machine learning algorithm we do not have anything to predict or estimate rather we do something else not necessarily bucketing something else but we do not predict or estimate something that is called unsupervised machine learning algorithm now this is about different types of machine learning algorithm and i have already told all machine learning algorithms are used for they they are specifically you know good at doing some specific task okay so it depends on what use case we are solving and what data we are using to decide which particular machine learning we will use now these are different groups of machine learning algorithms not the algorithms so there will be different algorithms in this group and different algorithms in this group okay we saw about machine learning algorithms now let's see how machine learns from the data 
so this is the data which we kind of discussed in problem statement 1 in previous example so estimate the relation between income and expense okay let's say this data is taken and as i discussed there this data plus ml algorithm ml algorithm will give us a model okay so this data needs to be combined with a machine learning algorithm and then the pattern will emerge okay let's say we call a machine learning algorithm on top of this data so what we get as a pattern in this case let's say the pattern is something like this the pattern is expense is equal to expense is equal to 0 0.5 into income expense is equal to 0 0.5 into income plus 1 okay so in all these cases what we are seeing is expense is half of the income plus 1 so that's what the pattern is emerging now if you see carefully this is the equation of a straight line of the form y is equal to mx plus c if you remember y is equal to mx plus c is the equation of a straight line and here the pattern which is emerging from the data is expense is equal to 0 0.5 into income plus 1 of the form of a straight line which means we can plot this on xy plane congratulations what you have just learned is the very basic machine learning algorithm known as simple linear regression this is known as simple linear regression where we are regressing or estimating expense against income okay so this part this entire part of getting a pattern or getting a model from data using a machine learning algorithm is called training the model okay so we take the data combined with machine learning algorithm get a model which can answer our queries this process is called training the model but we also need to validate or test the model so that we can use it in practical purposes so let's say this, this is me and they are my friends so i have three friends but here i have data of two people only apart from me now i have model in hand okay so obviously i will want to see how good my model is answering to my queries so the fourth guy is not included in this training process the fourth guy the fourth the third friend of mine is not part of this training but we know what is his income and what is his expense so we just go and test how good the training has happened and we ask to this model guy this guy which has learned the pattern hey if income is this then what would be the expense okay let's say for that guy these are these are how the numbers are looking like let's say for that guy the income and expense is 30 and let's say uh, 17 okay so this is the fourth guy so i'm keeping it separate 30 and 17 now if you remember if we plug in the values in our model then what our model will say is for somebody who has income 30 the expense would be 0 0.5 of 30 plus 1 which means 15 plus 1 which means 16 but here the expense is 17 so the model has been trained on these three records and model is being tested on this one record this data is called training data and this data is called test data okay normally when we create data for machine learning which i have mentioned in my this video you can go and see when we create the data for machine learning we typically break it into two parts one part is kept for model training and other part is kept for model testing or validation normally this ratio is 80 is to 20 80 percent for training and 20 percent for testing in this case I have kept three records for training and one record for testing so when we test the model what we are seeing here is there is a difference the actual value is 17 but my model says 16 so this one 17 minus 16 one is called error of this model and accuracy of the model is defined by how big this magnitude is okay so 
the accuracy of the model can be defined in multiple ways the error of the model is calculated by n number of matrices i'll discuss all those matrices in my upcoming video so that things do not get too much for you in one video okay now how did you like this video guys let me know in comment which part you did not understand so that i can explain that well in my next video all these things i'll just tell you again what all we discussed what is machine learning at its core what are types of machine learning and we, we just took a simple example of linear regression and we understood how linear regression works and how training and testing works in my next video i'll discuss with you what are different types of errors and how do you know which model is good and which model is not good let me know through likes and comments how did you like this video press the subscribe button and bell icon if you have not done yet i'll see you all in the next video till then take care